Good morning. So our next topic is about fishery tools and the equipment. Hand tools and the equipment make aquaculture activities faster and easier, starting from the preparation of aquaculture facilities to harvest stage. So they are a big help to fish farmers because through them, every task is being done conveniently and efficiently. So as a result, fish production increase significantly. With the use of these agriculture tools, instrument, and uh, different equipments, fish farmers learned how to make the fish environment more ideal. And uh, the elements in the environment, such as the water pH, dissolved oxygen, toxic gases, such as ammonia and hydrogen sulfide, uh, the salinity and temperature affecting the growth of the fish, can now busy, be easily monitored and controlled with the use of appropriate tools or instruments. So this lesson provides information about the common tools and instruments and equipment used in aquaculture and explain their functions and how to properly care of them. For our learning objectives, number one, you will learn to identify the different fishery tools and equipment. And number two, you can explain the use and functions of each tool and equipment. During the discussion, you will also meet different words or terminologies in this topic. So a sample of this are, we have Calibrate to adjust and mark something such a measuring device so that it can be used in an accurate and exact way. Number two, capillary, resembling a hair, especially in slender elongated form. Number three, electrode, a conductor used to establish electrical contract with a non-metallic part of a circuit. Next is fluctuation to shift back and forth uncertainly. Next, we have instrument. When you say instrument, it is a tool or device designed to do careful and exact work. We also have mercury, a silvery metal that is liquid at normal temperature. Permeable, having pores or openings that permits liquid or gases to pass through. We have refraction. Refraction means deflection from a straight path undergone by a light ray in passing obliquely from one medium, which is example as air, into another as glass in which its velocity is different. Teflon used for synthetic fluorine containing resins used especially for molding articles and for non-stick coatings. And last we have tool, which is a handheld device that aids in accomplishing a task. So let's start with the subtopic under um, fishery tools and equipment. So let's know the classification of hand tools according to requirement use. The first one is cutting, pinching, gripping tools. Uh, the example of this is pliers and cutters. So these tools are used not only to cut a physical object to pieces, but also to remove metal or wood from the workpiece by means of sheer deformation. So um, these are used to grip objects by using a leverage. Next, we have striking tools like chiseling, punching, and riveting. So example of this are hammers and chisels. So handheld striking tools are used in a variety of disciplines as leverage devices that provide a striking force to complete a variety of tasks. Next, we have driving tools. An example of this are screwdrivers, nut drivers, hand wrenches, T-handle wrenches. So these are designed to insert, tighten, loosen, remove screws, bolts, 
nails, and other pointed objects or hard turn items by applying torque. We have another one, which is the struck or hammered tools. So an example of this are um, punches, nail sets, and uh, also chisels. So these are used for forcing a bolt, pin, or rivet in or out of a hole. Next subtopic under uh, fishery tools and equipment, we have the different kind of hand tools. So first we have pliers. So when you say pliers, these are tools for gripping objects through leverage. So there are different types of pliers. We have the slip joint plier. These are great for tightening. Groove joint pliers, they are also referred to channel lock. Parrot nose wrench pliers, these are noted for their grip. They are a combination of pliers and pipe wrench. These are ideal for pipes and tubing. We have plumbers special pliers. So they are available with smooth jaws or jaws covered with a soft material to prevent scratching when used on a plated plumbing fixture. We also have general utility or water pump pliers. So these are all purpose pliers whose teeth are shaped for positive grip on round objects. Then we have needle nose pliers. So these are used for reaching places with restricted uh, clearance. So they are typically used for all electrical and electronic works. Another tools we have uh, wrenches. So these have fixed or adjustable jaws used for gripping, turning, fastening, tightening, twisting, or loosening objects such as knots, bolts, or pipes, and the uh, pipe fittings. So they are mainly used to hold and turn knots, bolts, cups, screws, plugs, and various threaded parts. So there are different um, various categories of wrenches. So it is divided into two. It can be um, under the category of pipe, pipe wrenches, which is used in plumbing for gripping round or cylindrical things. And another category is for general use wrenches, which is used or bolts um, and nuts with flat and parallel surfaces, like for example, square or hexagonal. So we have four types of wrenches. So the first one is combination wrench. So this is a double-ended wrench with one being like an open-end wrench and the other end like is a box-end wrench. Next is adjustable wrench. So this is used for tightening and loosening nuts and bolts having movable lower jaw. We also have socket wrench. This is like a um, closed end wrench, uh, cylindrical in shape. And we have flare nut wrench or tube wrench or line wrench. So this is almost the same as the box end wrench used for gripping the nuts on the ends of uh, tubes. Another tool is what we call hammers. So these are the most popular and the commonly used hand tool, particularly to deliver blows to an object or strike another object, like driving nails, fitting parts, and breaking up objects. So we have different types of hammers. We have the first one, which is curved claw hammer. So used for nail, pooling, and general carpentry work. We also have the straight claw hammer or straight claw up hammer, mainly used for general and heavy carpentry work, reaping and farming. We have the ball pin hammer used for bending or shaping soft, metal for riveting and for center punching. 
we have the hand drilling hammer. So it is designed to do powerful jobs like striking masonry nails, steel chisels, masonry drills. Next, we have another tool which is called screwdrivers. So these are used for turning screws so as to drive them into their place. So we have the types of screwdrivers. We have the first one, we have Phillips. So used for tightening and loosening. We also have the standard uh, screwdriver or what we call slatted, used for tightening also and loosening slatted screws and bolts. Then next we have clutch head. So this screwdriver used for tightening and loosening a clutch head screws and bolts. We have the nut driver also used for tightening and loosening hexagonal screws and bolts. Then another tool which is important in fishery fishery is the measuring tools. So these are used for measuring dimensions. They are important for implementing any work with precision and carrying out different types of measurements. So we have different types of measuring tools that we use in fishery. So number one is the, what we call the squares. Indispensable to woodworkers, carpenters, mach, machinists, tile setters, and anyone who needs to make his or her work with precision, uh, the T-square is an L-shaped square used basically to mark a straight line across a wood piece for cutting. We also use as measuring tools rulers uh, with different shapes or sizes. So the most popular type of measuring tools. We have also the caliper. So caliper used for measuring the distance between two symmetrically opposing sides. So next subtopic under this uh, fishery tools and equipment is about common hand tools in the aquaculture. So the common hand tools that we use in aquaculture is the first one is shovel. So shovel is to dig, scoop, or shovel dirt from one point to another. Next is a rake. So rake is used to level the pond bottom. Then we also have the digging blade. So it is used to make quadrangular mud blocks. And then we have the sickle. So sickle is used or it is a handheld farm tool typically used for cutting grasses along the dikes. Then we have the machete or machete. It is the caretaker's handy bladed tool used for cutting uh, tall grasses, branches of trees and so forth. We also have the spade. So a spade is the same as shovel. So a spade is used for shaping the dike. Okay, next we have another subtopic, which is all about instrument for water monitoring. So this instrument is used to test the pH, the alkalinity of water or the acidity of the water. So the first one we have the Sheshi disk. So normally Sheshi disk is a tool used to measure the water visibility or transparent, transparency of the water. We have also the pH met meter, which is an instrument used to measure the hydrogen ion concentration of a given sample. Then we have what we call the dissolved oxygen meter. So this is an instrument used to measure the amount of dissolved oxygen present in the body of the water. Then we also have the refractometer. So a refractometer is an instrument used to measure the index of refraction that determines the amount of solute present in sample medium. Now let's move on another subtopic, which is about common equipment in aquaculture that we use. So the first one we use water pump, of course, which is 
either or either engine uh, electrical or wind driven uh, used in supplying water to a pond. We also have the oxygen cylinder, which is used to supply dissolved oxygen into the plastic bag during packaging and transporting of fry or fingerlings. Then we have the air pump. So air, air pump is used to supply dissolved oxygen in fish tanks. Then we have the electric generator. So electric generator is a power generating equipment that is needed in times of power interruption so that the production can continue. Of course, we need motorized boat or banka. So a banka is the most commonly used vehicle in man managing fish pens and fish cages. Okay, so that's the end of our uh, lesson, which is all about fishery tools and equipment. So don't forget to subscribe. I agree by Sir Dan's uh, YouTube. Thank you.